morning guys we have a 2003 Honda Odyssey van I have to change the coil pack um, the coil pack on the van it, uh, it went bad the other day while I was driving um, so I'll show you real quick I'm gonna replace it the one I'm replacing is back here all right so you have uh, six on this one this is the 3.5 uh, VTEC Honda engine now in the front here you have a cover like this all right there's two screws this is like that um, so normally you would just take out the four screws up here there's one back here one here one there and one there this cover just pops right off and then you'll have full access to take this one out and the other one but i took this one out without taking this out um but normally you just have the two screws that sit right here all right as you can see i'm missing one on this side so this one wasn't even on so i just got it out right now um so basically you take off the cover take off the two screws here twist them out unlock it take it out put it this side so you don't lose it now you have your three up front, and then you have three in the back. One, two, three. This is the one that I'll be replacing. Okay. Um, so normally what happens is the car has like a funny shake and then like a little bit of a misfire. Um, if you want to check the um, coil pack to see which one it is, with the car running, you can just simply unplug it. Once you unplug it, if the car shakes more, that one's working. Plug it back in and then follow them all the way through. So I did all three in the front, they were fine. I did the three in the back, uh, these two were fine. When I unplugged, the car already has a misfire and a shake. When I unplugged this one, the car didn't shake anymore or anything, it was just dead. All right, so that's how I determined that that was that. It does come up with a code uh, P1399. So you'll need just one of these Allen keys. All right. um, for the sake of the video, I already unscrewed this one, so I'll show you. All right, take the screw out. Do not lose it. You can always put it up here. That's why I keep it. And then uh, unplug it. All right. And then it's as simple as just popping it out. Sometimes this will get in the way, so you just twist it and move it out of the way. That's the old one. Okay. And this is the new one. And that's it. So it's a simple just swap out. All right. And then just put it back in the hole like that. All right, and then you're just gonna line up with that screw down there. So just pop it in place. Put the screw back in. It's that simple. So you just hand tighten the screw. If you tighten, if you go to hand tighten the screw and it doesn't tighten, it feels like it gets stuck. Then normally what I would do is I would unscrew it until you feel the screw pop in place and then just hand tighten it the rest uh, with your fingers until it gets to the point where you can no longer grab the tip of the screw and then just screw it back in. All right, and then it'll get tight and then just snug it. If you don't want to go crazy, don't use a uh, a ratchet to snug it down because sometimes you can put it on there too strong and then you could break the bolt all right and that's it it's as simple as that it's done all right and then we'll just move everything out of the way if you need to know the part that's the one that i put in for now okay and we'll turn the car on and see if it made a difference Nice and smooth. And that's it. It's nice and smooth. The engine is not shaking. Um, so that's it. All right. It's a very simple procedure. Again, so um, if you're changing the front ones, you can just take this cover off. Um, I didn't have to. Uh, but normally we just take the cover off and then pop off this cover and you have access to the front three. Okay. And again, so like right now, let's say the motor's running really smooth, right? Because I changed the one in the back. So let's say the motor had a shake and you're trying to figure out which one is no good. So if the motor's shaking already, right, once you squeeze the tab and you pull it out, you'll hear the motor shake worse. You'll, you'll see the motor, it'll start shaking worse and it'll sound worse, all right? So if you plug it back in and the motor goes idle smooth, um, that's how you know this one's good. So right now you see it's smooth. Now unplug it and the motor shakes. So you know that's working. So if you already have one that's shaking, 
okay? When you take it out, it's gonna shake worse. You know it's good. Take this one out, if it shakes worse, this one's working. If you take this one out, and the motor doesn't do anything, but it's still shaking, it didn't get worse, then most likely this is the one that's dead, all right? Um, and then just plug it back in, and you can check the rest of them to make sure as well. So right now, the motor's running really smooth, okay? So I changed the one in the back that was no good, okay? The part cost me 45 bucks. They have a cheaper one, it was like 35 or $36. Um, so because I used the car and the car's great, I didn't go with the cheaper one. I just went with the one that was a few dollars more. Um, and that's pretty much it, all right? Thanks for watching, I hope the video helps you. This is the 2003 Honda Odyssey minivan with the 3.5 VTEC engine, all right?